When you look at TCU, I was really impressed with their offensive line against Michigan. I mean, not yeah. only do they rush for 253, they only gave up one sack. If the offensive yeah. line plays like that, and you mentioned Quentin Johnson, uh, it seems like big time receivers give Georgia problems. If Marvin yeah, Harrison, do. if Marvin Harrison doesn't go down, I think Ohio State wins the game. You go back Probably. to Jamison Williams last year in the national championship game; they were having problems with him. They had problems with him, obviously, in the SEC championship game. So if those things match up, TCU's offensive line plays great, and Quint, Quentin Johnson is Quentin Johnson that we've seen the entire year. Um, I mean, maybe they got a shot. Yeah, I mean. I'm with you on everything that you just said, right? Like, there's no way in the world I'm picking against Georgia in this game. There's there's no way. Uh, having said that, you know, the Johnston piece is interesting only because of the track record that Georgia has had with, with these, you know, wide receivers that can hurt them in one-on-one -on -one situations. That's what you have to do. You have to win one-on-one -on -one situations. Georgia does such a great job of being able to play sound structures, and you can do that when you don't have to borrow any element of your defense to help any other element of your defense. You don't have to borrow from the passing game to help stop the run. You don't have to borrow from your safeties in order to get outside and stay over the top of wide receivers to help your corners, things of that nature. And when you see performances like what you saw from Jamison last year in the SEC championship game and then early in the national championship game when you see what Marvin Harrison was doing what ends up happening is that Georgia has to borrow from elements of their defense to help against a really good wide receiver well when you do that as is the case with most most teams by the way you borrow from an element and and a team and you saw this with Ohio State can start to take advantage of other areas it's not just that player going off, but it's also what that player creates in terms of the structure of the defense. So when they have to manipulate the structure of the defense, then all of a sudden Xavier Johnson has a, a positive matchup right down the middle of the field. Uh, Mecca Abuka started getting loose a little bit. You saw that little slide route. He runs that for a touchdown. All of that is because Harrison is on the field and Georgia has to match up a very certain way. I believe Georgia will go into this game feeling like, okay, we're not going to go and just just manipulate right away. We're going to see if we can play our normal style of defense. And this is why you see those guys go off, in particular in first quarters. We're going to see if we can hold up and win the one-on-one -on -one before we manipulate our structure. So in the first quarter, tennis, or excuse me, TCU has to attack with Johnston, right? Like, And they will, by the way. They're going to take a shot. They're going to probably take a few shots. They've got to connect. If they don't connect on those shots to Quentin Johnston early, they will not win the game. Their only avenue is making sure that they're manipulating the structure of Georgia's defense by creating explosive pass plays with Quentin Johnston early in the game.